this moment of my past over and over again. Jasmine Harris put pen to paper and spent days making sure she had the right words. I was unable to find work for one and a half years, reliving this incident every time I was told no. The letter she wrote asked for a pardon, forgiveness for a crime more than a decade ago, three days in jail for a misdemeanor assault and battery conviction, but the consequences were looking like they'd last a lifetime. I know a lot of people struggle with having to put on an application they have a criminal history, having to check the box. The words Harris wrote went off to City Hall, where they landed here on the desk of City Prosecutor Matt Cousy. He reviews every pardon application and does the research. The local criminal history, the police reports related to the event. And he's looking to make sure past mistakes stay in the past. For repeated criminal conduct, that doesn't show to me that you're turning your life around. Harris's application sailed activity. through. It's well, next stop really here on the desk of Mayor Jean up. Stothard, who said, likes this part of the job. Basically to give a person a, another chance. She likes it so much, she'd like to do it more often. The mayor's office now looking to expand her pardon power to all violations of city code. So then that would bring in pardonable offenses to things like um, animal nuisances or not having a dog on a leash, um, open burning, uh, jaywalking. When the mayor signs off, the pardon is official and Harris has the proof. It came in the mail right before news of another big achievement. Harris was named one of the 10 outstanding young Omahaans for her work with Defy Ventures, giving prison inmates second chances. She's now an advocate. Who knows? The struggle is real for people with criminal histories and employment, whether it's a misdemeanor or felony.